Hi, welcome again to another lesson. I'm going to show you how to play the C major scale in second position. If you're not conversant with the major scale, please check out my acoustic guitar beginners course. I've talked about the major scale in detail, how you can use the major scale to find the chords in a certain key, how to construct the major scale itself, uh, and how to play in key just uh, with the knowledge from the major scale. So. Uh, if you're not conversant with that, please check out uh, the Acoustic Guitar Beginners course. I'll leave a link in the description guiding you how you can get the course. Now, in this lesson, we are going to check the C major scale in second position. So let's get straight into the lesson. So now, when we say the C major scale in second position, what we mean is that the index finger, or the finger number one, it plays notes on the second fret. So if my index finger is playing notes on uh, on the second fret, uh, we say the scale is played in second position. If, for example, I played the C major uh, the C major scale at this point, we will say that this is the C major scale in seventh position because the index finger is playing notes on the seventh fret. So the index finger determines the position of the scale. And by implication, that means that whatever we checked in the last class, the C major scale in open position is in essence just the C major scale in first position because the index finger is playing notes on the first fret. Okay? So in this class, we are checking the C major scale in second position. And this is how it is played. Okay. That is the C major scale in second position. And uh, just a few things to note. Uh, when you are playing a scale, when you are playing the scale in position. Uh, for example, now we are playing in the second position. The index finger is not supposed to play uh, notes from another fret other than the, the second fret, okay? And the middle, the middle plays uh, notes on the third fret. And then the, the, in, the ring finger plays notes on the fourth fret. And the little finger plays notes on the fifth fret. So in this lesson, we are also playing the notes using the little finger. Okay, so uh, if uh, this is the starting point of the scale, if I play this note using uh, finger number two, I can't use the same finger again to play this other note, the next note. Okay, you are supposed to keep your hand in position, and every 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 finger has a fret that it should play, and. Uh, no, no finger should play multiple frets, okay, in the same position, okay? Just see how I'm playing it. All the notes on the second fret I'm playing with my index finger. All the notes on the third fret I'm playing with my middle. All the notes on the fourth fret I'm playing with my ring finger. And all the notes on the fifth fret, I'm playing them with my with my pinky. Okay, so that is what you need to note. Okay, and so how do we do this? Just place your middle finger on the on the C note. This is the starting point. It's the C note, and then this is the D. Okay. So as I start uh, the scale, I'm starting from this point. It's also where we started from in the previous lesson. But now I'm using a different finger because it's a different position, the second position. So this is where it starts. And then this other finger, without, uh, without doing many awkward things with the hand, uh, without shifting the position, just... Uh, just uh, place your, your little finger on the 5th fret, the same string, and I'm only using a downstroke, stroke, 
And then the next note is the E. So that is the uh, the the second fret of the of the D string. And I'm using my index finger for that note now. Okay. So it is uh, the middle finger on the third on the third fret of the A string. And then the the little finger on the fifth fret of the same string. And then now the index on second fret of the D string. Do, re, mi, fa. Okay. Third fret, the same string, the D string, using mi my middle finger. And then fifth fret, using my little finger. Okay. And then second fret again using uh, my my index finger, second fret of the G string, and then third fret of the G string, sorry fourth fret of the G string using my my ring, and then uh, fifth fret of the G string using my little finger. Okay. I know this position is a little bit uh, stretchy. But uh, you 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 just have to get it right, okay? With a lot of consistent practice. So you really want to to just get uh, the the scale in ascending order. my hand remains in position the entire time that I'm playing I'm not I'm not getting my hand out of position I'm maintaining uh, finger number one on fret two finger number uh, number two on fret three finger number three on fret four and finger number four on fret five okay After, after you get this movement, uh, the, the scale uh, correctly, now you can try descending, uh, going back in reverse. And we said that the same, same fingering that you used in the ascending, you use the same in descending, okay? Again, notice that uh, there are other notes uh, that are part of this scale uh, that we can include them. Okay, for instance, when I'm descending, I have this note. It's the B. It's still in. Uh, it's still in this position. The second position can be played with the uh, with the with the index on the second fret. Then we have the A, okay, and then we have the the G, okay. So after after we come from this point, we can and we said that you always start and end the scale uh, at the same point. So this is the root of the scale. If I play it, I come back and end at this point. Okay? Now, uh, usually when you are playing scales, we want to play notes from uh, uh, on all the strings, okay? From string number, from uh, the the lowest to the highest string, okay? But you notice uh, 
we can't we can't do that in this second position uh, unless we change we 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 shift to another position and and so I want to to show you to show you how to shift from the second position to the third position. So this is where we are now, an octave higher. What we can do, just take uh, your index finger. Usually the index finger is the one that initiates the shift in hand position when you are ascending the scale. So you just shift uh, your index finger to the third position and play this note. It's the D, okay? So it's the D, and then this note right here, it's the E. Okay. And then this note, the next note, is the F. And then uh, third fret of the high E string, and then fifth fret. So we have shifted from second position to third. We can we, we can decide to do this just to to maintain the hand position, and then uh, this note here. But then. Uh, We'll get we'll get trouble now on string number one because now we have to shift to first position again, and then uh, we shift again to the third position. Those are too many shifts. Okay, so just to keep safe, we we just do only one shift at this point. So the index comes to to fret three, of course, now because this is the third position. Uh, fret three of uh, of the B string, and then uh, finger number finger number three. The ring finger plays now the fifth fret of uh, the same string, the B string. And then my little finger plays the sixth fret. And then the index finger plays third fret of the high E string, and then uh, my ring finger plays fifth fret of the high E string. So we have done a shift. Because we want to exhaust all the notes on all the strings. So a shift in hand position means you are coming from one hand position to another hand position. Okay? in this new position uh, again we are we are maintaining uh, we are maintaining the hand position in that uh, now the index finger plays only notes on the on the third fret now this is in, uh, in the third position the index finger plays notes on the third fret the ring plays notes uh, sorry the middle plays uh, the middle should play uh, notes on uh, the fourth fret, but in this case, there are no notes uh, of the C major scale on the fourth fret. And then the ring finger plays the fifth fret, and the little finger plays the sixth fret. Okay. Those are all the notes that uh, we can play. Okay. So. now we have to again descend and you use the same same fingering okay so so at this point uh, we we do the shift uh, in in descending okay coming from this point Now, 
uh, the the little finger now shifts to back to second uh, position uh, on the second position it was playing notes on the fifth fret okay so goes back to the fifth fret this one uh, the ring finger goes back to fourth fret and the index goes back to second fret okay Start and end at uh, at the same note, the root note. Okay, so I'll play that again. That is the C major scale in second position. In the next class, I will talk about uh, how you can do the stretch. There are some instances you can play multiple frets using one finger, and uh, you do that by stretching the finger. I'll talk about that in the next lesson. So, see you in the next class.